All right, here we're here at Sam Noble Museum, Oklahoma Natural History again. Uh, first of all, we'll say hello to the star up in here. Haven't seen him in a while, but uh, we're right here. We're going to pay attention to this little exhibit here. It just started up a couple of days ago. On this, and um, we have new Titanbo exhibit that's traveling around the U.S. Here, this is one of the largest snakes. Let's have here some basic information about this exhibit. Here is a snake from uh, it's 48 feet long, um, uh, 2,500 pounds or 1,100 kilograms and lived about 60 million years ago. That's in the Paleocene. That's after the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. And let's see what we have here from the fossil beds deep within Colombia's Corijon coal mine, emerged type Tenaboa. Hmm, okay. Nice basic information here. Well, here it is. This is a reproductive model of it. With, um, with this uh, video playing here, just to show you it is the, the difference between the Tanaboa's vertebrae. That's a big snake. This is a huge and snake. And that to the world's this current largest um, snake, which is anaconda. It could be even longer. Now, anaconda, of course, is the type of snake they made all those bad cheesy Watch films over. It is a, the world's Sony current Channel largest snake. Look at the size of that vertebrae to find a compared to this. You can definitely see a major size difference. Amazing. Okay, something else on the side here. This is a comparison between Titanoboa's vertebrae and that from a crocodilian. And um, this is just shows the, you know, because I think at one point they thought maybe this is sort of a crocodilian vertebrae, but when they cleaned it all up and compared them, you can see that, the, you know, there is a vast difference. You got a taller neural spine here to compare it to the Titanoboa. Just, you know, spaces between the pre psychopathies and post psychopathies are different. And of course, the rib attachment is also a different shape. So you know it's not from a crocodilian. All right. Okay, so pretty impressive exhibit. Unfortunately, if I had to critique it, it's the fact that compared to other previous Riley exhibits that Sam Noble had, this one is pretty small. Sure, they show some photographs and there's a couple videos, um, you know, that tell about the Titanoboa. But there, besides that one that I showed you earlier of the size coverage between Anaconda and Titanoboa, it is um, there's not much of a full fossil skeleton because they found enough. Uh, according to the research paper here, which I'll link down below, uh, they found for several individuals, but they don't have much of a whole full skeleton. A few years back, they had a sarcosuchus, a you know super crocodile, from um, Africa. They showed a a full um, a skeleton of that. So, of course, there was enough information to, sh to do that as well, so it was very impressive there. And also showed several other dinosaur specimens of the time that you know that lived with it. But this one is just simple, a few, um, couple videos, some poster information about the um, animal. I didn't show all of them. And then you have that full-fledged um, model. So, yeah, if you're, you know, interested in seeing how large a snake has got due to, fall, you know, what we found in fossil record, there you go. So, yeah, if you're in, if you're in the Norman, Oklahoma area and you just happen to be in, the, you know, have a, have a chance to go to San Diego, give it a shot there. Um, but I'm going to put the link down below to the Nature article, which will, if you scroll down and click on the first link, it'll tell, it'll show you a, a shared file uh, from that the actual research paper, if you wish to know more. So there you have it. There, that's Titanoboa, and thank you for all for watching.